morning everyone welcome back to my channel in today's uh, Microtech tips and tutorial we're going to discuss uh, about the Microtech backup and restore using scripts okay so recently lang kasi no, I just launched a video uh, regarding the dual ISP plus failover plus uh, bandwidth speed combination and then after doing so some of uh, uh, some of them is having a problem no, on how they can uh, transfer some uh, uh, settings like uh, the users no, from their previous ISP configuration or single ISP configuration to their new dual ISP configuration. So that would become a problem nga naman, no? So, But don't worry, on this video, I'll uh, help you on how we can transfer the uh, user accounts uh, to your new dual ISP configuration okay so let's begin so right now I have here my uh, winbox open so this is basically configured as single ISP I named it as a single ISP test this is not live all right as you can see I have my bridge right here ether one is configured to ISP one and the rest of uh, the ports the LAN 2 to LAN 5 are single ISP but as you can see, I have here uh, user accounts already created. No? So let's say this is a live uh, winbox or hotspot of your own. So let's say you're going to uh, uh, adapt or configure your router uh, to some things like dual ISP configuration. So uh, let's try to do it. No? So first, uh, we have to make sure that we are uh, creating a full backup first all right so go to files and then click on the backup okay and then i'm going to name this as uh, single isp since this is single isp uh, full backup okay and then i'm going to uh, put a date so i will know when this backup was created so october 16 right now it's exactly uh, 9 o'clock so I'll put a uh, time as well so 9 yeah. alright this is my full backup okay so if you don't know how to use this uh, a full backup feature I already have uh, created uh, a video about this so you can visit my channel and uh, that will help you how to uh, restore uh, using a full backup copy alright so so I'm going to drag this to my desktop. Alright, this is my full backup copy. And then after that, I can delete this now. And at this point, let's create a script a backup file. Alright, so to do that, just click on new terminal. Okay, and then from here type uh, export space file space backup and then press enter and then as you can see it's now creating a backup.rsc file i'm not sure what is that rsc maybe it's short for resource or something <laughs> maybe you can comment down to uh, for us to know what is that rsc file stands for i haven't googled it yet no i think of it anyway so we have already now the backup.rsc that we need so we can just transfer this to our desktop there we go so since we already have a full backup and an rsc file backup we can now proceed doing some uh, a, a huge configuration so as adding router so hindi na tayo mag worry if in case we messed up we already have a backup copy of them okay so let's do it so go to system and then reset configuration and then no default configuration do not back up or check and then click on reset configuration all right so please uh, support my channel by subscribing and sharing all my videos if you are uh, grateful <laughs> enough all right on, uh, or you are learning a lot from my videos okay so after doing a reset let's now log into our winbox okay and then 
since this is a newly reset there is no password right now so log in and connect okay and i'll just put in my new password by the way guys this router that i'm using is the hex uh a gr3 okay change now and then we'll log out and that's the new password. We're gonna keep the password from here and again. There we go. So as you can see, um, all our uh, configurations are back to zero. Okay, so uh, check our IP, firewall, filter, NAT, and Mangle are all empty as well. Okay, so let us now try to uh, configure our router into dual ISP. So for some reason, I just kick it out. So connect not die with it. Okay, and then I have here my uh, script ready for my dual ISP. So if you don't have this script yet, so please uh, watch my uh, video regarding this. That's the dual ISP plus uh, failover plus uh, bandwidth uh, speed merging. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the first script right here for our interfaces. Okay. So open up uh, the new terminal, right click, and then paste. We will be disconnected in a few seconds. That's normal. As you can see, the Ether 5 uh, was not complete, so let's just update the uh, interface list again with this one. So press enter, and as you can see, the Ether 5 was now updated into hotspot because this setting is a dual ISP where in my uh, LAN 1 and LAN 2 are for uh, internet providers and then 3, 4, and 5 are for hotspot connection. Okay, and then let's just continue. I'll just copy uh, the script from bridge interface bridge down to uh, webhouse db identity here and then paste I think we're gonna be disconnected at some point again yeah so that's all right that's normal and then connect and back to our script just paste those scripts again all right so enter Lastly, back to our uh, dual ISP script. Okay, I'll copy the IP route up until the firewall path. Copy, and then just close this, open a new terminal, right click, and then paste. There you go. And then press enter. Alright, so that's it. That's how easy and fast our uh, dual ISP script. Okay, so as you can see now, from my script, I only have one user, no, the Webhouse TV, and my user profile as well, uh, which is 200 MPS. Okay, so if you would like to uh, transfer your user profiles and user account from your previous uh, ISP configuration, Madali lang naman siya, no? So let us just remove this uh, user profile and then the users and then we're going to open up our uh, scripts ating single ISP, ating, ating back, uh, backup uh, RSC file. Just open it up using Notepad or uh, in my case, I'll be using uh, Notepad++. Okay, and then from here this is your IP hotspot user profile all right so 
so we can actually copy this but later na no i'll just uh do something first in our uh, dual isp setup okay so now before you transfer the user profiles and the users into your hotspot make sure first na yung ip pool mo no particularly the name is the same on your uh, old isp uh, setup no so let's just see what i'm talking about because from here uh, the name of uh, my ip pool if i'm going to search I, ip pool yeah so ang name ng aking ip pool sa aking previous um isp or the single isp was thcp while sa aking dual isp ang name ng aking uh, IP pool is sa uh, hotspot pool no? so just to make sure walang error sa pagka transfer ito yung kailangan natin pagwin let's just make it the same so I'll be changing this to DHCP okay so I hope nasundan nyo yun you can just uh, rewind <laughs> uh, what I mentioned so kailangan lang ang point is paro sila ng IP pool name Right, so since it's now a change to DHCP IP pool name, I can now proceed copying my uh, script. Okay, let me just close all of this para hindi kayo malito kung saan galing ito. Alright. So remember our uh, single ISP uh, backup RSC file. Ito siya. No? So again, let's open it with a notepad or notepad uh, plus plus. So start na tayo rito. Hanapin lang natin itong uh, IP hotspot user profile. Alright. Okay. And nasa unang part lang naman siya. So hindi siya may hirapan natin. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this. Don't forget to copy the forward slash because that's very important. No? I have here my user profiles. Copy. Okay. Back to Winbox. So right now, I don't have any user profiles and user accounts. So let's begin. New terminal, right click, and then paste. I add on the bus, as you can see, when, uh, let, uh, one by one, I got add na adding my user profiles. And I have so many user profiles in my previous ISP configuration, the single ISP. Alright. There we go. And after this, don't forget to press enter because the last part will not be added no, by experience. Just press enter. Enter. Okay, so we have now successfully uh, transferred all the user profiles from single ISP configuration to our new dual ISP configuration. So our next naman is the user accounts. So users is empty right now. So back to our uh, script. Let's just maximize this to easily uh, find out kung nasaan yung ating mga user ang aking uh, keyword dito is the firewall no so uh, control f for slash ip firewall okay, uh, slash firewall na <laughs> para hindi <laughs> mahira hmm, ayaw din medyo na space ata Do another. Oh no! Oh, quick search. IP. I think firewall lang yun eh. Yeah. So, IP space firewall. And then from here, meron tayong firewall net. And then, makikita na natin below niya ang IP hotspot user. Ayan, tama diba? So, ito ang aking mga user accounts from my previous setup so let's just start copying them up until here 
before the assistant block. Copy. And then back to our new terminal. Red click and paste. Wow. Wow. See, they are now starting to uh, be in transfer. Alright, so that's uh, basically the uh, uh, restore process using our script. Again, and don't forget to press enter so the last user will be added. Yeah. All right. So at this point, we have just successfully configured our router into dual ISP with all of the previous user accounts transferred. So kailangan natin i test no if they are really working or not. So by the way, I'm using right now just uh, the ISP two no. So that's why my ISP one is on a stop status because uh, I don't have it plugged in yet. But uh, uh, once I plug in my uh, ISP one, uh, the dual ISP will gonna work. All right. So, but for the sake of this uh, specific tutorial, I'm going to show you that the transferring of the user accounts and the user profiles uh, will work on this kind of method. Okay. So let's just test this at three days now. So uh, this is A J uh, Z. I think that's an M and then five eight eight six. Okay, and then I've got to connect. Oh, let me just refresh my page. AJ Z M five eight eight six. Right, I am now connected using uh, this user account which originally came from our single ISP. Okay, so I hope this video somehow helped you on how to uh, uh, transfer those uh, uh, files from old configuration to our new configuration using our uh, script method. Alright, so please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to my channel to please para dumami ang aking subscribers at para mas ganahan pa akong gumawa ng mga video tutorials like these okay so good morning everyone and god bless to all of us bye